What's going on guys? Nick Lesigore here, Exit 12 Homebrew in the house. And I'm here with a special video today. Everybody that knows me knows that I am a gadget guy. Love gadgets, multiple gadgets, up-to-date gadgets, old gadgets, anything that makes my life easier, specifically when it comes to the hobby that I love, and that is homebrewing. I was searching around on Black Friday looking for some deals. Also something else that some, everybody knows about me is I love a good deal. And I've had my eyes on things to make my life easier for a long time, expensive items that I perceive as expensive anyway, that I could get with good deals. And one of those is this. Bam. The Easy Dens by Anton Parr. I am so excited about this piece of equipment. For those of you that aren't aware, the Easy Dens takes gravity readings. And I was initially looking at the package that has the Easy Dens that gives gravity readings and the Smart Ref that also gives gravity readings. They're a two piece package, and when you use them together, it spits out a literal alcohol percentage, not a gravity. Uh, but I figure I have so many things that help me calculate alcohol percentage. Why spend the extra $250 or whatever it was to get the Smart Ref? when I spend 320 for this piece of uh, equipment and I get the gravities that I need fast, reliable, and I don't have to use a lot of the wart, or in this case, finished beer, hopefully, to do that. And so that's what the Easy Dens helps me do. Uh, it also has uh, the automatic temperature tracking, it's high precision, quick measurement, and if I want it to, Taking, if I were to take a lot of readings, it tracks fermentation for me as well, which is pretty cool. Uh, but again, you know, everybody that knows me knows I like some really cool things from a technology standpoint. I got tilts, I have homebrew units that work off Wi-Fi, things like that. So this is just another piece to add to the arsenal. So we're gonna try this out today on a Belgian Dark Strong that I brewed. Uh, and we're gonna check and see what the gravity is and see if it measures the same or different from the tilt. So let's get into it. All right. Taking off the packaging for this. This is a cool little package. What I do uh, know that I have to do is I have to download the app. So I'm going to go into play and download. Is it Anton Parr? Anton Parr Easy Dense Brewmeister. That is what I have to download. Install. So while that's installing, I'm going to try to open this bad boy. Okay. There it is. A little bit smaller than I thought it would be. But. Pretty cool looking. Taking it out of the box. It's got some weight to it. Definitely has some weight to it. I like the, uh, it's got little feet here where the screws are, so it's easy to just put down. Take this stuff, put it off to the side. My assumption is it comes with directions of some sort. There it is. Okay, opening this bad boy up here, I have what looks to be the syringe. That is the tubing. And here there's the instruction manual. Okay. Here we go, syringe, tubing, you can buy syringes if you need more of them for some reason. You can buy more syringes on Amazon. I think they're like $7. I have them in my cart ready to go just in case. All right, so here are the directions. Seems like I have everything. I have the Easy Dens. I have a smartphone. I have a sample. My sample is right here. Uh, the silicone hose with the lure adapter, syringe, and a waste container. I can probably use my treehouse glass as a waste container. OK. 
Okay, so installation. So it says step one is to put the tubing in this side. So if I'm looking at it, it is the hole to the right. Okay, there is the waste container. And then two, I'm gonna download the app and connect it to Bluetooth. So there it is, I'm opening the app now. Let's go, turn your device on and make sure it's within 30 feet. If you cannot connect, contact customer support. So turn device on. I believe on the back here is the on button. So we're going to turn it on, press the button. Oh yeah, power comes on easily. Now we are aiming for a finishing gravity of 019 or 018. So as you can see, the unit's blinking. I'm going to click connect, allow. All right, start. Maybe that simple. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I have degassed the beer. The way that I degas my beer is I put it through a coffee filter. So this looks pretty degassed. Put this unit in here. I'm gonna open up the syringe. Put this bad boy open. Okay. So I'm going to fill the syringe up. It says two milliliters. Right. So here, I will attempt. I should have got in, gotten something that was a little bit easier. Okay. All right, there it is. I got about six there. Bring it down a little bit, so I have my sample. I don't know what these uh, things on the directions necessarily are telling me to do, but yeah, it looks like it's telling me to, to swirl it. Oh, these are all degassing options, okay, that makes sense. All right, my sample is degassed. It says start. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to Trying to figure out if I need to, yeah, I have to put the sample through first. And as this shows you, they don't want any air bubbles. That's what that direction shows you, no air bubbles. So I'm gonna push the sample through first. And then I'm gonna hit start. Bam, 1.019. I don't know if you can see that or not. Hell yeah. Easy money. 1.019, just what I wanted. And it's really that simple. Now, if you look at the tilt closely, the tilt says 1.034. That's obviously not correct. The gravity says, the uncalibrated, the pre-calibrated gravity says 1.016. So the tilt is obviously out of calibration. And if you look in the fermenter itself, it looks like there's still a little bit. When I pulled the sample, there was like no life here. But it looks like there's a little bit of movement. So I'm gonna continue to let it go and see how low we can get it. Continue to ferment on this bad boy. And just in the time that we've been talking that I was checking gravity, I was looking at my fermenter, it's actually gone down to 018, which I believe according to the software is exactly where we wanna be. But that is as easy as it gets. Absolutely love this thing. <laughs> okay, everything's put away and cleaned. I am sipping on Live in a moment because everything else is uncertain. The Beechwood smoked porter. 
that I recorded for Brew Day and is currently up on my YouTube channel. It smells smoky. I use like uh, over two pounds, like two pounds, two, two, two and a quarter pounds of Beechwood smoked malt. I finished right in that 5.2% range or so. Perfect for this weather. Right now it's like 45 degrees out in New England. Perfect for this weather, absolutely digging it. I will definitely calm down on the smoked malt. Bump it down a little bit. It does take away from a little bit of the sweetness character of the beer, but it's a smoked porter. It's smoked, that's what it is. I have more Beechwood smoked malt. I also have Stav smoked, Stave smoked malt too, so I'll probably be doing this again in the future. Let's talk about the easy dents, upsides. I don't have to degas an entire hydrometer of a sample. That's usually, depending on the beer, if it's, it's, if it's a hoppy beer, the filtering of degassing through the coffee filter method takes a lot longer uh, than a normal clear beer, like a porter. But you're usually waiting anywhere from five minutes to 20 minutes, 15 minutes. That takes a long time to get your readings. I had to degas a two milliliter sample, super quick. Quick E on quick, very quick. Another upside, the digital aspect of it. The app, the, the footprint is small. It's an app, it's battery powered. It's an app in this little piece of equipment that I can store right in that, right in that area behind me, my inventory shelf. Goodbye glass hydrometers. I'm not gonna throw them out. I'm gonna save them just in case this thing's on the fritz one day. <laughs> Another upside, it gives readings super, super quick. You know what you get right away. If you aren't sure, take another sample, push it through, press calculate, and it'll do it again. Another upside, it logs the, um, if you want it to, it'll log the readings for you. So every time there's a, uh, you take a reading, you can log it and it'll log in the batch for you. So if you follow along with the beer and you can log your, because I utilize notes in Brewfather. So you can utilize notes in Brewfather, logging your gravities as you go. It's great for knowing quickly, if you want, when you have to dry hop, for example, on a New England IPA. Ease of use is important to me. And it is very, very, surprisingly, very, very easy to use. Downsides, let's talk. Cost, a hydrometer, cost you 20 bucks, 15 on Amazon. This is $320 and it's back up to 400 because it's past Black Friday. I got $80 off, $78 off. Uh, I know I got a deal. Free shipping as well. I know I got a deal. Uh, and so I'm comfortable paying that money. It's a good deal to me. To some people, it may not be. Glass hydrometers may be the way to go. I have broken my fair share of glass hydrometers. I probably haven't broken $320 worth, but I've broken enough. And so this is really my end all be all. I never have to worry about anything again. I don't have to cool down samples. I don't have to take uh, a, a lot off of the fermenter or, or while I'm mashing in. Everything is the, the amount, that two milliliters is, is a big deal to me as well. So overall, I'm extremely happy with the unit. I would suggest anyone go out and buy it. I'm not, as long as you have the funds, of course. I'm not, they are not a sponsor of Exit 12 Homebrew. They're not a sponsor of the BrewTubers Online Brewers Club, www.brewtubers.com. A couple of the guys in the club have them. They say nothing but good things. And I figured it was on sale. I've been wanting one for a while. I've been looking for a long time and I'm so glad I got one. Thanks so much for watching. L'chaim.